you, Huang Hun, thank you very much for being with us on WPC TV. You are the chairman of Sejong University and the former Korean Minister of Foreign Affairs. Now, you've been on a session about Eurasia. Yeah. How do you see, what is Eurasia from the Korean point of view, and how do you see it affecting policy towards North Korea? Well, Eurasia, uh, many people uh, talk about Eurasia, but uh, there is no single definition as to what the term of Eurasia means. But as I understand it, it's uh, Central Asia. And through Eurasia Initiative, uh, Korea want to increase connectivity between Europe and Far East Asia. And then what it means, connectivity? It is for Koreans, if you want to link the transportation network from Seoul to Lisbon in Europe. And for that, we have to have more contacts with Central Asian countries. Uh, those countries were neglected because of ideological and uh, religious barriers in the past. But now in 21st century, that kind of barriers uh, no longer exist. Mm -hmm. So we want to connect Korean railway to Trans-Siberian Railway so that we can send our cargo directly from Korea to Europe. Mm -hmm. Then it will only take uh, less than a week time. It's a wonderful ambition, yes. as is the reunification of the That's Korean correct. Peninsula. So even before the unification, we can reach an agreement with North Korea so that we can use North Korean railway system in order to con connect South Korean railway through North Korea to Trans-Siberian uh, Railroad. We are already have agreement with Russian government and Russian government initiated a pilot project in recent months. For example, the coal mined in Feistan, Russia, Siberia was transported through railroad from Russia to North Korean port. And from North Korean port, unfortunately, we don't have a railway linked to the south. So we brought in the coal through the ships. Chinese cargo ships brought those coals transported to North Korean port to South Korea. The initial pilot project was quite successful. The amount of coal was 45,000 tons and equivalent to about 5 million US dollars. But anyway, it's a good uh, project, good start. Well, it's a very good way to end this. Thank you so much indeed, Professor Yu. And good luck with the, with the project. Thank you very much. We will, <laughs> we will carry out the project. It's, it's, it's a dream, but it's not a pipe dream. We can realize it sooner or later.